Welcome to Grubbin' with Cold Moon. On uh, today's episode, we have some fancy barrels. <laughs> yeah, look at the bottles for those. <laughs> they have names that I can't pronounce. And they are styles that I've never heard of. Flemish Brown Ales. Ooh, it's Flemish. And you got a fruit beer? A Leafman's Fruitis. Because the descriptions on these were, uh, they said that they could be sour. So mm. I thought a fruit beer would go good with them. We're going to go ahead and start with the Rodenbach. This one comes in at 5.2% ABV, which is kind of low. Let's try this out. It smells intriguing. Ooh, yeah, that smells like a... Wow! That smells like the red Omegon. It smells like I might not like it. It smells like I really won't like it. Ooh. Ooh. That's fucking phenomenal. That's got a Ooh. nice sour note to it. Yeah, sour like a wine that's turned. Oh, you don't like sour beers, do you? Oh. This is fantastic. No way! That's no a super way. light, like, sour beer flavor. Just the hint of it. And, and it's it's like a separate flavor from the overall beer. Like, most sour beers, the sour is the beer. This one, it's just an aspect of the beer. I can't really say that I can taste the fact that it's been Asian oak vats. No. Nothing that like that doesn't show up at all. Like, I'm not a big fan of that flavor, but I don't taste it. This is carbonated balsamic vinegar. It is disgusting. <laughs> I can't take it. It, I can't, I don't even want to drink any more of this. I really don't mind. I would give it a six. Yeah. Like, it's not the my favorite sour beer. I think Tradewinds does more, or does better sours. But, uh, it's decent. Seven. Ooh. <laughs> I like it. I like that. I can... This is a one. I like <laughs> this tastes like vinegar. I cannot drink this. It is gross. I will drink almost anything in the place of this. Leafman's Fruitess. Fruit beer or beer fruity. Even lower ABV at 4.2%. Oh. Oh, yeah. That smells awesome. It smells like candy, folks. Mm hmm. There Cheers. 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 Yep. Mm. Oh, it's nice and dry. Yeah, it is not too good. sweet. No. Nope. It is amazing. Just a little hint of sour in there. <laughs> and it's a medley of fruit flavors, too. Mm -hmm. It's like Jolly Ranchers for adults. <laughs> yeah. There's yeah. there's not a lot of sugar here, folks, but oh, the aroma that you get right when you pull the glass up to your face is, is magic. This beer it reminds me of my childhood, man. Like... <laughs> Making fucking, uh... Am I gonna cry? <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna tell me a story where you're like, oh, I was drunk at like, four well, years like, old? No, like, my grandma, she... No, she died one time. No, no, <laughs> it, it's just, uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> let's just okay, this guy's been a downer thing. tonight, Let's folks. not learn anything here. <laughs> let's just... Good, good. Yes. Yeah, amazing. Things oh, good. Like, it doesn't quite Tasty pack cool. the flavorful punch. That a frambois does, but it's a little bit lighter. It's pronounced framboise, yeah. stupid. But it's but it, it's still really yeah. good. I'm Fair. giving it an eight. Yeah, I'm giving it an eight as well. I gotta that agree. So good. Yeah, it might be deserving of a higher rating, but I didn't rinse this glass out, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it it it. I think it's all. It it's beat the not solid eight. glass out, man. Yeah. <clears throat> solid eight with a seal of approval. <laughs> Our main event, Duchess de Borgogne. <laughs> Borgogne. Borgogne. <laughs> this beer comes in at 6% ABV. <laughs> Authentic Belgian ale. Mm. Product of Belgian. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it out. Oh my god, really? Oh, holy balls. Mmm. That's like caramel with that like, like sour it? beer flavor. The, it's just getting to the point where it went from disgusting to intriguing. <laughs> it's like a mix between... Um, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. It's like a mix between champagne and something really rich and, and flavorful. Mm -hmm. And it's not at all disgusting. It is so good. It's, it and has like me, a dark roasted aspect I was say, it. It almost it. has like a chocolate stouty yeah, flavor to it. Yeah, there's something like that in there. It's it like is, a, oh my gosh. Like a cordial cherry. 
-hmm. Like this, this, it, it tastes like fermentation, you know, it tastes like something was intended to be turned into alcohol, but the other one tastes like it had turned <clears throat> a long time ago. <laughs> and this one is like right there. It's like, I get a hint of vinegar, but it, 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 it just invigorates whatever is in here. It, it mm -hmm. tastes so much better because of it. It's a it's it's a mix between like a really rich apple cider and champagne. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's got a good like an apple cider thing. Yeah, going on. and it's so good. It, it tastes like an apple cider vinegar, apple cider, and champagne, and it's amazing. Oh, this would complement yeah. so many things. I'm also gonna give that an eight. Mm. I'm gonna go and give that one a nine. That is really good. Ooh. Blew away my expectations. Nothing has ever smelled this bad, but tasted that good. Uh, I have to give it a nine too, Ooh. just out of virtue of the fact that I am blown away. Absolutely blown away. It's delicious. I gotta say, uh, even burping this last one up, it's it's. I enjoy every second of it. This the last smell one is fucking amazing. Yeah, the smell is very disconcerting though. <laughs> Don't let it betray you, folks. This has been. Grubbing with Colt Moon. Oh man. Oh, that ah. means thank you for watching. Oh. <laughs> oh.